Mike Tyson, the former heavyweight champion, is in town, and he met up with Mayor Rob Ford. Well, he joins us right now with his promoter, Alex. Thanks for joining us, both of you. I'll start with yourself. Uh, many are wondering, how did that happen, this meeting with, with the mayor? I have no idea. It's my fault again. <laughs> when we discuss famous on-air moments, look no further than Mike Tyson on CP24 in Canada. Anybody in the city, everybody wants to see the mayor. And um, he's a really uh, dynamic character. Right, so did you, you read up on him? You sort of would follow No, him? I didn't read up on him. I watched him on television. Right. In the, States, in the yeah. States, and you know, he's a big, oh, he's a big hit in the States. Tyson met up with the late mayor 10 days prior in September 2014. That led to this question from host Nathan Downer. Some of your critics would say, you know, there's a race for mayor. We know you're a convicted rapist. This could hurt his campaign. How would you respond to that? Hey, um, I don't know who said that. You don't even want to say that. You know what I mean? And I don't have no comment to that, you know, because it's negative and you're being negative. And I, 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 met, I met the mayor, right. and nothing they can do about it. We actually had a really good time. As his promoter speaks, Tyson becomes more and more peeved with the question. It's so interesting that you come across like a nice guy, but you're really a piece of Hey, with that come comment. on, come on. No, oh, that was a piece of That was a piece of you know, we're, we're, doing, we're doing live TV now. I don't care. What are you going to do about it? All right. You got, a, you got a show that you're doing tonight. Downer tries bringing it back after asking if Tyson was hurting Ford's chances of re-election for mayor of Toronto. Still, Tyson could not move on in the interview and showed it. Yeah, a lot of people are be there to see your show. Just tell us a bit about it. Um, it's a, you know... It speaks for itself. Everyone saw the show. At this point, Tyson is ready to bounce. His breathing becomes heavier. He eyes Downer, the host, and thus it would end soon thereafter. Is it nerve wracking for you to do something like this, or is it more nervous for you to box? How does it compare? I don't know. Um, it's more nerve wracking for me to hear us talking to a rat piece of oh, you. Come on, Mike. Not because you're a piece of shit. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up this interview. Thank you for thank you for coming. In. The look says it all. So what happened here? Let's provide some context. Tyson at the time was promoting his one-man show, which he promoted on The Today Show. There is a new show coming to Broadway this summer featuring an unlikely star, Mike Tyson, will make his debut on The Great White Way in a one-man show called Mike Tyson, Undisputed Truth. And he's now with us exclusively along with the show's director, Spike Lee. It received various reviews. When performing in New York, Donald Trump was in attendance, a known confidant. The Guardian's Emma Brock wrote in her review at the time, Tyson's performance loses its tension and he turns in this long, long section into a man shouting on a street corner. Like Alec Baldwin and Charlie Sheen before him, Tyson joins the rank of famous men who mistake ranting about their ex-wives as fuel for art, not therapy. The Times' Philip Potempa wrote a glowing piece, though he did include Tyson admitting he was money-strapped as the tour began. Robin, some of the things that we've read, that he's hit you, that he's chased you and your mother around in, in Russia, that Mike has a very volatile temper. True? Extremely volatile temper. I think people see that about every three months. Um, he is... He's got a side to him that's scary. Michael is intimidating, to say the least. I think that there's, there's a time when he cannot control his temper, and that's frightening to me. The incident in Russia, per Vice News, was one of domestic abuse. Tyson would deny attacking Givens, though in an interview with Oprah, he said he socked her. In his show, Potempa recapped how Tyson showed a picture of Givens on screen along with her mother and called them the classic chump and the tramp. In 1992, Tyson would go to prison. The New York Times wrote in October 
of 1988, Tyson's abuse of Givens was at first verbal, then turned physical. She described him as a manic depressive. Sources at the time told the outlet Tyson chased Givens and her mother into the hotel lobby, and he allegedly threatened Russia militiamen, quote, looking for an altercation. When Tyson toured his show in the early 2010s, he said on stage he and Givens, going through divorce, were still romantic. However, he made a pit stop at Givens' place and saw her pulling up with none other than Brad Pitt. Promoting his show in Toronto, Tyson joined Downer on CP24. The question came as Ford was eyeing re-election, only for it to be uprooted because of health conditions. They were awaiting a biopsy on a tumor diagnosis. That was in September 2014. Two years later, Rob Ford, former mayor of Toronto, would pass away. He was 46 years old. It's interesting because through my own research, I was going through when this happened, uh, what was the fallout, blah, blah, blah. And one outlet that talked about it was none other than the Young Turks. And Anna and Jank disagreed on whether this was an appropriate question at the time. Now, let me be clear. Anna thought that it was appropriate. Jank thought it was inappropriate. But I'll say this. When we see different candidates go and hang out with other people, and those people have a dark history, we are certainly interested in what that history entails. I don't know if it necessarily could have been framed that way, but I leave it up to you in the comments section. Was it a fair question? Was it not a fair question? As I have outlined previously, Tyson comes from a very terrible history of trauma and a lot of how he has acted out basically comes from that trauma not saying that it's okay to do what he did to women what i am saying is that is his history and he has been very public and open about it so i am hopeful that we will be able to do more of these deep dives and breakdowns of sports history iconic moments what have you if there's one that you would like us to go over comment below as well